All right. How's oh, everyone? Well, everyone's here already talking, so I guess I'll skip straight to the point. So I started playing Cinderella Phen Phenomenon again, and we've been having a grand time. I wanted to play one of the storylines before I did it on air. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having a bit of a rough go right now with my voice. I'm not I'm not sure what I've done, but I want to blame early allergies for it. To play through this game before all the updates. Yeah, so I've never played Monster Prom before. And a bunch of friends rec recommended it to me. And I saw it was on sale the other day for 69% off. So, of course, I had to buy it for the meme. And now they have... I believe summer camp and they have a college one as well so I wanted to try it out what if there's an eldritch monster in game I vote for him I wonder if I could try to date more than one person because I'm not like I can't just tunnel one person I got to get to know everybody I bet vampire is classic I know I wondered if I'd immediately fall for a vampire what if there's a fae what else do well the fae considered a monster? Oh no. They hate the entire school. Well, what if it just ends up being like a polyamorous type situation? I feel like that'd be great. We all just date each other and go to the prom. No drama, everything's perfect. <sighs> oh my god. I don't want to become a fae pimp. <laughs> but I am down for trying to date the whole school. But if people, if I get points down for dating certain people, that might have to curb some of my dating desires in the game. So we'll see what type of scenarios come up. It'd be a problem if I'm dating someone and then it means I can't date the other person later. I wonder if I can make different, different files to make sure I don't accidentally mess up. Date the monsters that speak to you. Well, they're all going to speak to me, theoretically. Alright, let's hope that water helps. Ooh. But yeah, I have hopes that the Colonel Sanders body pillow will... will be funded sometime. We have nine days to go, I don't know. Tell your friends that, like... that, like visual novels and enjoy Colonel Sanders so they can see Colonel Sanders on my overlay often. Well, it's going to be art body pillow. We were trying to find actual body pillows, but we couldn't find any. I guess we could try to ask the artist if they'd be willing to commission something that could be printed on a pillowcase. Like, that's not weird at all, right? You, you go and you're like, um... Gosh, what was her name? Siobhan. We're like, hey, Siobhan, can I... Can I tr please try to have a body pillow commission? I, like, I'm going to put it on a king-size pillowcase, and it's only going to be a little weird. I do have a body pillow, but not one with, like, a husband on it. I don't have, like, a waifu one. Plushy pillow with a bucket of popcorn chick. Yes, and I think it should also be the one where it's the macaroni and cheese with the chicken, because that's not weird at all. Totally fine. What if they did? I could do that as a giveaway. Be like, all right, remember when the first novel we played was I Love You, Colonel Sanders? Be perfect. Be absolutely perfect. Hey, let me to get let me get the game booted up right now. We'll see what type of mischief we'll be into. I'm nervous. What if everyone's weird? Also, it's prom, so I guess we're all returning back to high school. No, there's a giant piece of pillow and a tortilla giant blanket you can wrap yourself in so people are into food pillows. God, but it's... No, you're right. 
I think if we had the popcorn chicken plushie with the Colonel Sanders body pillow, Netflix nights will be perfect. They need to do an anime with Colonel Sanders. Right, let's go to... Oh, first off, I have to change the title of... Here, let's go to mod view. I don't know if there is. I'd like to watch it. You know the title. Throw the title in the chat. Right, we're going to go to Monster Prom. There we go. I didn't see the game on there. I'm like, is it magically not safe for work? Because I, I need to know that right away. Recipe for seduction! This sounds like a surfing theme right now. Thank you very much, Barnet. I appreciate the bits. And now, like, could... Maybe after Monster Prom we can watch the trailer for a recipe for seduction. Why do my links keep getting deleted? Stop it, people are just trying to show me awesome links and you're just like Twitter's eating them. playing Dead by Daylight today, but, well, not on stream, but I'm, I'll be playing tonight, it's going to be fun. 10 out of 10, Legion. Right. You're fine with this. Thank you very much, Iki Kiki. Alright, let's play. Well, my voice is a little off today, so I don't know how much I can read out loud. So let's do some awesome voice effects, right? Let's go to school. Let's go! I can have people play with... Oh! Amazing! Alright, well, one player... We'll do a full game. Ah, oh, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Give me one moment, I'm gonna drink some water. Let me reread it. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. Awesome, you should definitely try. Sorry, you just switched. Ooh. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Music's 
heavily loud. I'm sorry. let him go. It's going to be this one because that's how the rhyme goes. Music is a little loud in comparison to your lovely voice. All right, um, let me go back and see if I can... Until I can change the settings, I'll decide... I'll put down the volume, as it were. All right, we're going as a dare. They don't have a fay option, so I can't be my fay self. Got a lark so I can move stuff to my new apartment. Just had to say hi. Well, thank you very much, Mango. Have a safe time moving to your apartment, all right? And we've had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster problem. I remember it clearly. Six weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Gah! Damien Lave. Why is everyone so much older? than the age of 18. I guess monster prom means they're all over 18 because it's a romance novel. All right. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love for fire. <laughs> a werewolf. Scott Hall, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Monsters can also be as old as time, raise his hand. Throw here, right, Cantus. Liam de Leon Court, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Well, his name is Liam, so I'm already solved. Yay! Holly Geist, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And Vera. Oberlin, a mean self-made gargan with a merciless sense of business. Well, I don't want to go to mean people. Being a plushie, I'm only a few years old. Ooh, ooh. It was clear, it had to be one of them, but who? We only had six weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had six weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. Ooh. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Welcome to Monster Prom, stupidest pop quiz ever. All mines are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Where you know more, we're using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way each of you will start by having stats better reflect your true selves. I like that. Can I go here? Let's start. Oh, I have to fix global warming. All right, I guess. Don't 
democracy is just broken. What would be the best way of choosing the leaders of modern society? Sorry, I'm like flabbergasted. Yo, heartbreak, heartbreaking violin solos. Create a reality show called America's Top, Next Top President. It's hard, I like these two. Oh my god, bear fight. Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes and go back and forth. Won't be a deal breaker for a potential lover. What if he hates outside? I can't hate him. America's was. Let's go. <gasps> I'm fun. I have a nine for my fun. Is there like a way to? Can I save? Music's like really loud. Guess we'll figure it out. Right, where do I want to go? Let's go outside. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Well, apparently we're just able to start raves. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares, it's a rad party. Oh, it shows which area sat it up, well. You gain plus two fun. Well, I am a lot more fun. Scott and Polly pull you aside, one of them holding each of your arms. Whatever's going on, it's serious. Whoa! We need your help, bro. Oh. The midterm for AP jump scares is coming up tomorrow and we're so unprepared. We tried everything we could think of to get away, or get ready. I rolled up the textbook and smoked it. This is an interesting school. I ate my homework. When nothing worked, we only got one option left. We got a cheat for all, we need to figure out how to do it without messing with the teacher. Mm -hmm. We're with messing with the teacher. Either way, if you can help us, we'd be so per grateful. That's all the incentive you need to hook them up with your ultimate cheating technique. How can I write it on the teacher's face? Like I- Oh, you can't see the other one. The other answers write all the answers on the teacher's face. <laughs> Mr. Giant Stonehead is like 99% face, it's perfect. And I've heard he sleeps like a rock too, this will be so easy. But this is vandalism, coach says winners don't do vandalism. Hmm. No silly, it's only vandalism if you're doing it on a not lighting. This is makeup artistry. You make a mental note to never let Polly do your makeup, you gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. I gained a lot of fun. Right, I'm gonna turn down the music, so let's... That way I can turn this back up for when someone follows. On screen display, buffer, language, all right. Is that too quiet now? A dare the fun fae, right? I am just so much fun. That might be a little too quiet. He put mods on here. Wait, did it not save?
It looks like it didn't save. I'm so sad. All right. All right, we're going to skip this one. And now you learned your lesson. Well, that's because I... I had turned on the desktop slider, Mar, so... Is the sound not too quiet? Is there no... There's not a good way to do this, is it? Really quiet now. Oh, no, there's a new one. All right. I guess I'm fanfic every Monday at 8. A radioactive possum just spit you. What superpowers did you get? Alright, I like the first one already. The incredible power of writing fanfiction is so compelling that the actual creators of the TV show decide to go with my ideas and crazy ships. The superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis to get the desired reaction from all people. Seducing my loved ones, burning my enemies, burning my enemies, settling any argument, and even conveying complex emotional thoughts. I do want to write fan fiction really well. You can ask for whatever you want, what you ask for. I could be a friend. I can grant my own wishes. <laughs> Negotiate for three wishes? Well, I can do that. All right, we'll, we'll go back and I still kind of want to do the rave. Let's go. Apparently I'm less fun this time. Notice how I'm way less fun. That's not fair. I want to be more fun. Wait, what? Whatever. That's fine. I am creative and charming. That's fine. Let's. We're going to go back to the rave. All right. Apparently, it changes who's going to be there. The sight of Liam and Verna nearby. Vera, sorry. Doing what they do best, judging Pathetic. people. Pathetic. God, that's so loud in my ear. It all changes. Oh no. Well, I already don't like who you're being a jerk. <sighs> Lame. You're also a jerk. How could I not? They're about as subtle as the didactic intent of Jonathan Swift's modest proposal. You know, Liam, sometimes I worry. That we're the only two fashionable monsters at this entire school. <laughs> but then I realize that's not something to worry about. That's something to feel smugly superior about. I could have put it only slightly better myself. Now focus, Vera. We've got so many more outfits to critique. Okay, but Bundu's a great outfit. All right, fair, but... I wonder what it's like to have sentient snakes for hair. You kind of love her. Medusa fanfic, let's go! No way to avoid it, you're about to walk right past him. Quick, improvise a fashion accessory that'll actually impress him. Put on the hotto costume you keep in your backpack for emergencies. It's so ironic, Liam should love it. 
strip naked and tell them you're wearing fabric that only cool people can see. Vera is all about being cool. I kind of like the idea of stripping naked, but why the fuck would Liam want to see me in a hot dog costume? <laughs> right, I might as well. I, I can't actually be naked, so... Liam and Vera watch you as you carefully and deliberately change into your hot dog costume and then walk past them. Huh? Did she just change into that ridiculous outfit on purpose to fuck with us? My god, she must give. Hold on, let me double check this. Liam pulls out a pocket calculator and presses some buttons, he gasps. Huh? Negative five fucks. I didn't know it was even possible to give that few fucks. <laughs> Negative fucks! I think we have to admit when we've been outplayed, Vera. <laughs> Sai, all right, I'll order us matching hot dog costumes immediately. Finally, dressing like a hot dog is becoming the trend you always hoped it would be. Your game plus two charm and plus one fun. Positive fucks only, please. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I like ghost friend here, but I want to meet mermaid. <gasps> Sad punk cat. What's up? Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit. Hello, booster stat. Shit that will let lead you into stupid new adventures. Even some shit that might take, that might be much needed at some very specific moments. So take a look. Hi, Robo Skeleton. How's it going? I want the cat to be a dateable person. I have five dollars, all right. Yeah, I'm selling a carps. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It's not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. Crafting your art requires years of hard work, education from great mentors. Happy, oh my god, it's a Bob Ross model. Spring is the season. If you buy all her things, maybe she'll date you. Yes, dating, only Vera. Right, I kind of want, what is? A blanket with two holes. You have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume, but most of our classmates are idiots. A fake badass tattoo. It has flames and a skull and even a knife. With this you can murder your enemies, go to prison, make everyone your bitch and then murder them too and go to some kind of super prison street cred plus 9000. I kind of would... Fuck. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs given. Two power forties. All right, a pro agent, a PR agent. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna get the Bob Ross photo or poster. Later, Gator. Oh, that was my entire lunch. Let's go. Why are you at the? All right. Do I have night school? I don't know what the present. I don't know what the present is. Yeah, because I have the motivational poster. Oh, there we go. Poker! You spend that... That day you spend some time at the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it's paid off, so fuck it. I gained plus two money. Against the expected, you, sp you spot Scott and Liam engaged in what seems to be an intense conversation. They seem so into it that you can't resist the urge to ask them what's going up. Hey. 
I like his sweater. We're discussing this, this recent novel, Two Lights. <laughs> it isn't a novel, it's a rad movie with lots of cool dudes and with amazing abs. All right, so, wow. It's actually based on a novel and it's anything but rad, it's cultural trash. How ironic. But I decided to like it. Ironically, oh my god, Liam, I have to throw you in a trash can. I have to throw Liam in a trash can. This is so dumb. Liam, why? The thing is, there's this human girl with two guys who like her. But the guys are part of two enemy human races. The wild shirtless humans and the mysterious deep looking... Deep look giving humans. And it seems these types of humans can't stand each other. And the deep look giving humans shine in the sunlight. Oh no, it's the fucking vamp- It's Twilight, holy sh- What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? Hmm. Did you know that's actually a lesser known trait of some humans? Thing is, the next movie will be re released soon and we're super hyped. Ironically. We can't wait, bro. We need to- s Satiate our hunger for two lights. This is your opportunity to show these two you're well versed when it comes to satiating urges. Go for it. We should write a nuanced play based on a totally not fanfic. Write two lights. Oh my god. <laughs> Flip all the tables. This game is brilliant. I love this game. This game is... Oh. Alright, we're going to... So authentic. Stop it. Why, why does he have to say things like that? Sorry, I, if I looked weird, I was covering my face. I see it. A nuance. Pastiche involving the characters of two lights. Throwing a new light over their fears and desires. <laughs> and over their abs. <sighs> yeah, yeah, sure. With an unexpected twist that will elevate the strengths of the original. Oiver? Oiver? I think that's how you pronounce... Well, you know... Yeah, I... So, apparently me my glamour won't let me move my arms in this farm, so I... Where I'm actually projecting myself, I covered my face out of... Shame. Did you just make Fifty Shades of Grey? Werewolf Himbo is my fave. Oh my god, Liam, please! <sighs> the rival humans ditching the girl and fucking each other's brains out. I like how he's blushing. Yeah, I like that. It's artistic because of reasons. Touchdown! And if they're nude, that means more muscles and stuff. I like that. Sure, it sounds like a high form of art and nothing like thirsty fanfic. You're some kind of promoter of the arts. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. I'm very creative. <laughs> Let's go. Science and arts. All right. I kind of want to go to the auditorium, but I want to see what else happens. Oh, let's go to the bathroom. That day you skip class and hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. Sorry, I love... Well... By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Later, you see Liam rolling his eyes at his phone. You ask him what's up before he can roll them right out of his head. <sighs> I'm having trouble with my stats. status on social network. Trademark. Is that your version of doing drugs? Perhaps. 
I expressed a positive opinion about bug manicures, which I obviously meant ironically. <laughs> and now my so-called friends are responding with blatantly unironic pictures of themselves with centipedes glued to their nails. I know being aloof and misunderstood is my brand, but I want to be misunderstood on my terms, not theirs. <sighs> what kind of status could I post that would be idiot-proof? Vlag, <gasps> vague blog. Vague blocking is a tricky proposition. Welcome to Liam de Leon Core. But luckily, I'm a master of the blogging arts. Huh. The trick is to reel people in with an intriguing premise. But make it absolutely clear if they will never know what it is. Worst day ever? No, I don't want to talk about it. So, so give this, but I don't kiss and tell, or fight and tell, sad face. Or do something like, it's all your fault, you know who you are. And then a high-heeled shoe emoji. <laughs> no one can possibly misinterpret that because there's nothing to misinterpret. Boom. Vague blocking is always the simplest and most direct solution. You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. What the absolute fuck? Let's go! Who are you? You look very mysterious, but also slightly not lit up like everyone else. Alright, let's go. All right, I'm trying to comprehend your request. What is there to comprehend? It's really simple, Miranda. Take my cell phone, snap a pic of me, face planting in my food with my eyes closed and tongue out. But where far? Right here, Miranda. You're about to point out that where far means why, but luckily Polly elaborates on her own so you don't have to look like a fucking auto. So far, I've been talking to the vampire Ironic likes everything fanfic, man. It's a new meme, Miranda, like planking or dabbing. It's called food poisoning and it's dope. AF. Don't you have cool trends in your kingdom? I suppose we do. We have a fun car trend called revere your rulers. It's where you show nothing but the utmost devotion for the royal family. Do I like Ghost Girl or do I want to be a Ghost Girl? I'll never know. <laughs> if you're good at it, you get a lot of likes on social media. And also not get executed. Do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? I bet you know some pretty cool trends, don't you, Adar? Heck yeah, you do, don't you? You surely do, it's entitled Silverware Wear. It's where you take out your most expensive cutlery and dress it in a very fancy tiny outfit. And dress it in very fancy tiny outfits. Yep, it's called dying. Hi Celie, how's it going? We're monster promen. I kind of want to do the tiny fancy outfits. Have I not heard of this trend before? Beautiful silverware and fancy dresses are two of my biggest passions. This trend sounds like it was invented for me. Well, it may have been, but... By you on the spot, but there's no need to go into that. What's your favorite meme? Spike salad forks and velvet evening gowns. Seahorse steak knives and frilly skirts. Teaspoons and tea dresses. This trend is... No words. This the glory of the spectacular combination would leave me speechless as well, were I not so excited to create more memes with the dare. Game is very fitting for you, Faye. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the second option was just dying, apparently. We'll have to meet up soon. Bring all your most exquisite chopsticks. I shall bring doll clothes in which to dress them. Yeah, totally. Hanging out with Miranda sounds amazing. Mom, I guess it's time to go out and try to find some exquisite chopsticks. Let's go! 
Let's go to the auditorium. I want to see if my fan fiction's happening. All right, auditorium time. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Look at how creative I am. Oh God, go to the doctor. Yeah, you should eat food. What what happened? You're, sp you're a squid mom. You're st well, you can't get sick. Don't get sick. Eat of crackers. No. You just said you hadn't eaten in days. I hope you feel better, but like, I don't know. Can you, can you like look at a cracker and eat like a quarter of it? But Liam isn't paying attention to any of that. He corners you afterwards to lecture you on momentogram filters. <sighs> My body isn't adjusted and I hadn't eaten, I mean, I hadn't eaten it all today. Oh, gotcha. I understand now. What no one seems to understand about filters is that they're not about making pictures better. They're about making pictures browner and harder to see. That's why I use my own proprietary filter on almost all my photos. Infinite top. Well, the same message, but without hog caps. <laughs> Perfect. Don't know probably why I only have six Montagram followers, but we all must make sacrifices for our art. In any case, I have to go. There's a dead rat in the parking lot. I simply must document. Waffles in my name here. Do we need to like door dash you something? I don't know. How do we send like toast to your house? Well, no, waffles are like toast. I don't know. Hilbasa. As soon as Liam's gone, Miranda peeks out of an air conditioning duct. She looks like Princess Daisy. Goodness, the situation is even more dire than I thought. It's Operation Make Liam Popular again is to succeed. We must get started immediately. What's that? Why, yes, of course you're part of my operation. I unwillingly force people into my service all the time. Oh, you want to know why it's called Operation Make Liam Popular again? Well, he's been alive for like centuries, right? I'm sure he must have been popular at some point. I'll check the history books later. There's no time now. This one is getting Liam more Montagram followers. It's Momentogram. My, my bad. Princess Bubblegum, that as well. I'm going to art or something or I'll never hear the end of it from my best friend and the French DJ Nico. We took the liberty of having my royal spies discover the password to his account so we can give it a total makeover. But what to do? All right, we're not going to use this account to post a bunch of porn and bomb recipes. I don't like that one. Pay a million homeless people to follow Liam on Momentagram. I don't want to post porn and bomb recipes. I'd rather probably pay homeless people. Oh yes, solving problems with money is my family's specialty. Unfortunately, follow Father cancelled my royal credit cards after I had all those land ponies shipped to our underwater castle and they all drowned. But I'm sure you have enough money to accomplish this feat. You totally don't. You decide to cut costs by hiring goats instead of people. But goats don't have thumbs or smartphones. 
So instead of having them follow Liam on Momentagram, you just have them follow him in real life. Oh, where did all these gods come from? Get them away from me. They ate my cashmere phone cozy. This is madness. Exit Liam pursued by goats. This was a terrible idea. And also goats are still pretty expensive. You lose minus two creativity and minus one money. Let's go. That was awful. I'm not ordering it, but sweet cheese and crackers. Why your Uber Eats make Wendy's delivery fee to days? Why? That's a lot. Yeah, capitalism's kind of ass. It's very ass. I don't recommend it. <gasps> Charm. That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. In the middle of everything, a portal opens up and swallows Vera, Polly, and Liam. You dive into rescuing them and straight into the season finale of Interdimensional Bachelor. <sighs> Good lord. <sighs> Help, I'm in danger of spraining my eyes from rolling them so hard. Yes! My god, we're on a game show. Yes, indeed. Tonight, the trivia will answers, answer a series of trivia. I mean, trivia questions. Whoever gets the most points becomes my. I'm gonna win, I don't even care what the prize is. Your what? Your wife? What a revolting premise. So you're saying we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios or answers which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you. So you had to take like a, a fake quiz in order to, to get your stats? Yeah, I'm Frankenstein's monster person. That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a, a toddy Dating game, tawdry, sorry. Everyone stop raising reasonable concerns so I can hear the first question. That's the spirit, question number one. Describe your ideal marriage proposal. But before Polly can answer, you buzz in yourself. Now yours, now's your chance to give an answer that'll end the competition and send the prince packing. I present you with my grandmother's wedding ring still attached to my naked grandmother. The other one is jaw unhinges bees pour out. So the ring still attached to my grandmother or bees. Ah, of course it's going to be bees, isn't it? Everyone okay fine, fuck bees. You unhinge your jaw and unleash the bees. Wait, why were there bees inside your mouth? Apparently I lost boldness. You fool, your childish prank has destabilized the fabric the fabric of this pocket dimension. It's coming apart around us. My shoes are turning into lizards. I like those shoes. What's this? All the money in my wallet has turned into moths. So you'll pay for this. No part of me is turning into animals, but I suddenly care about things. This is all your fault. Why didn't you just answer with words? Why did it have to be bees? You can't take back the past. You spend the next thousand years traversing various horrifying dimensions with the prince and your three pissed off friends. No time has passed when you return home, but you'll never forget. And Liam, Vera, and Polly will never forgive. You lose... Minus two fun and minus one charm. This is awful. All right, I can't answer like an idiot. Let's go. We're going to go to the demonic table. Damien and Liam. Will he eat with Damien? Liam's just taking pictures of his food. The leather clad figure drops from the air vent on your table. It's the Slayer. Prepare to die. Can we date the Slayer? Look at all these ladies, right? 
All right, well, I probably should have met the Slayer earlier. This always happens when we sit together. Your death-based rhetoric is offensive. Don't spoil my food pick. Oh, I'll spoil more than your food pick, Count Stankula. I'm about to spoil your face. Just his, though, right? Both your faces. Fuck. <laughs> the Slayer's right between the three of you. You can't save Liam and Damien, but if you act fast, you might be able to save one. Immobilize Damon with the Lord's Prayer while Liam escapes. You've been waiting for this moment your whole life. Flip the table for justice. I don't want to murder Damien, but I like Liam. And if I flip the table for justice, I think that's a better outcome rather than picking someone to die. This is... I'm, I'm gonna say flip the table as well. Normally when you flip tables, it's out of anger or mischief, but this is about to be the most righteous table flip ever performed. No, my footing! No, my artfully arranged cafeteria food. Yes, fucking up school property. The Slayer ends up pinned under the table along with Liam. Damien jumps down there and starts punching indiscriminately, not caring who he hits. So, you know, just another normal day for Damien. Never felt so alive. Offensive. Whatever, let's flip all the rest of the tables in the cafeteria while the, while the flipping's good. I didn't know there was an arcade. Wow. Is it also a visual novel? You righteously flip every single table in the cafeteria. With each table you flip, you find Damien is flipping a little more for you. Let's go. All right, we're going back to nature. During that day, during recess, it's the evening. Everything is fine until one, the small magical Latino cat asks you what you think you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. But you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the groovy Mioska. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the groovy mouse. What the fuck? In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the groovy... Yusaka? All together. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Liam doesn't participate in the rave. He's busy stoning himself. He's busy sunning himself. In the shade inside a coffin, he calls it a sunning himself. Because he thinks it's ironic. Without warning, the Slayer sprints across the yard, throws the cover off Liam's coffin, and starts taking pictures with her phone. Prepare to die! Everyone looks ugly when they've just woken up. I'm going to post these on my momentogram. You psychopath, no! Stake me in the heart, bathe me in holy water, just whatever you do, don't post candidates of me on your benign, benighted mon momentogram. What the fuck? I can't, I'm tongue tied today, I'm sorry. Right, the Slayer's great, but I don't know if I can... This is a hard choice. We're already kind of accidentally really creative in front of Liam. What's happening, suck boy? What you gonna do about it? You're not close enough to stop her, but you are close enough to tell Liam what he should do. Banish her phone to the Hell Dimension, critique her fashion sense. I don't know which one to pick. I feel like critiquing her fashion sense is probably better. But if we banish her phone, she can't post it. You'll probably be a dick about it. Not so charming, oh my god. Why, of course, I was going to do that anyway. Ahem, where did you get that? Bitch, please, you think you care about fashion, I'm a slayer. This outfit ain't for the runway. Three are getting monster guts all over and then licking them off. Anyway, I'm not about to take fashion advice from a talking PBR advertisement who sleeps with a rubber duck. Liam retreats the shade of the other side for his- Oh no. Cause that burn was harsh for your effort to lose plus two baldness and minus one charm. The burns are everywhere! I'm picking all the wrong things apparently. Let's go! 
Yeah, we are only seeing the top option because of how this is. Let me see if I can... It's because the windows are, like, different for whatever reason. I'll make it a little smaller so you can see the option. There you go. Maybe that'll help. Hi, Cassie. How's it going? Everyone, it's my other sister, Cassie. So many sisters. Never a follow off. This game is pretty wonderful. Alright. Well, I don't know what to do anymore because every time I try something, it just sucks. Fine, we'll go be smart. A day you listen to your elders and learn a valuable lesson. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, we forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. We gain plus two smarts. Later, you see Liam scrolling through his phone, looking like the embodiment of... <laughs> hey there, what are you doing? Stalking class makes for romantic purposes and offering rather absurd advice. Magnificent! I could use some rather absurd advice. I was exchanging messages with the wear koala on this dating site and it was going well for a time. Oh, lame. But I've grown tired of our exchanges. He's a bit clingy, and being clingy is my seventh biggest turnoff. Right between sarcasm, illiteracy, and actually being a pickle and not a person. Pickle Rick. New friends, Uwu. Yeah, Liam is everywhere. Yeah, Liam is everywhere. I keep running into Liam. Pickle-Rick references, uh... The postmodern protocol dictates for me just to ghost him and never talk to him again, but that's horrible and I would never do that to someone. You see, I'm Liam, handsomely mysterious yet a true gentleman. But neither do I want the emotional turmoil of telling him how I really feel and having an actual conversation about it. What an ordeal. <sighs> so I've settled on sending him a bunch of emojis and then never texting him again. That should do it, right? The thing is... How can I convey this complex array of sentiments through the friendly language of emojis? Don't I have that as some sort of superpower I wanted? I never be sorry. It will. It will. It will. This is your time to shine. Show Liam you excel at complex sentiments, so he might one day feel like sharing them with you. Maybe a croissant, school bus, shooting star, trumpet, and crocodile. This one. Little vampire growing disinterested and overly attached. Wear koala emoji. Why breathe? I'm sorry if I blink. I'm sorry. No. Oh. I'm scared because every time I choose one, it sucks! Maybe a croissant school bus. Alright, maybe I feel like. Well. I got creative! That's so nuanced. <laughs> Let's send it right now. He's texting me back like, see, Liam, even if it hurts my heart, I understand how you feel. Maybe you're right. Maybe we used to be like a croissant and now we're just a school bus. Maybe we should do now as shooting stars do and look for the trumpet to our crocodile. Farewell, my purple shooting star. Perfect, no more overly attached wear koala. And I can still have a clear conscience. Not bad. I must admit your emoji poetry has touched my soul. You're an artist and the smartphone is your gentle harp. Ah. Maybe one day you could show me your feelings through delicate emojis, too. You were basically so nervous that you selected a bunch of emojis at random, but it worked. Sweet, who knew? Maybe Liam is the trumpet to your crocodile. You gain plus two charm and plus one creativity. Yeah, Liam is by. Let's go. 
there's a tiger over here! Sorry, I wanna mute everyone. But I also wanna like bone Liam now, because he just keeps showing up. I only have one money, I can't do that. Hi Kerta! How's it going? Probably stopping by for a bit, what's going on? Well we're monster prominent up, we're trying to find someone to date. Liam keeps showing up, so... I'm gonna have to do a run where it's not so Liam. And I didn't go for him just because of his name either. I don't know, I'm kind of having a bunch of fun and there's Ve Vera and Liam here, so... You approach Liam and Vera at their table, but before you can sit down, Vera holds up a hand. Pathetic. First off, I love your outfit, but fuck you, bitch. Stop, this is a cool people's table where only cool people are allowed. And because he's a vampire. Alright, first off, Robo Skeleton. Damn it. Got a shiny new thing today. It's a powered external USB hub. My friend says it might help my computer out. Let's hope. Vera, step on me. I think it will help. It should definitely help. So mainstream. I would agree with what Vera just said, but agreeing is something only uncool people do. Wouldn't you agree, Vera? <sighs> nice try, Liam, but I think we're getting away from the point. This interloper wants to sit with us. But if she wants to sit with us, she's going to have to prove she's as cool as we are. But without, like, trying to prove it, trying is so uncool. So what's it gonna be? You still can't see it. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm going then because there's no anyone could ever be as cool as Liam. I didn't have $50. I want Vera's outfit as well. Wait, was that... Ugh. Sarcasm. No, of course not. Adair was clearly, totally... Being totally sincere. There it was again. Are you two doing this on purpose? <sighs> No, why on earth would we do that? I can't tell whether you're being sincere or ironic. It's so, so <laughs> cool. cool. Everyone knows clear and efficient communication is the least cool thing of all. You've wooed me with your open disdain for language. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Exactly. Liam, Vera and Liam invite you to sit with them and chat. By the end of lunch, none of you has any idea what anyone else meant so cool. You can rock that outfit very much, Faye. I think. Let's go. Just date ironically. Perfect. Only for prom. All right, Tom. I haven't really needed money. Why can't I go do sports? Well, since my creativity is stupid high, let's go. No, it's fine. Typos are fine. That day, while rehearsing for class, for the class play, you are struck by the lightning of inspiration. You come up with the ultimate nickname for yourself. You tell everyone to call you by it, also known as one of the seven most douchebaggish moves in the world. But the nickname is so awesome, Inventive and appropriate that people decide to go with it. Quite the feat you gain plus two creativity. We the devs dare you to actually come up with a nickname for yourself and ask the other players to call you by that name until the end of this run. I don't know, I I kinda like just being Being called Faye for this is fun, because Celia always calls me Faye. That is thing dating ironically. Hipster dating? Well, I guess it's like when you kind of like someone, but not really, but you both don't, so you just kind of go for it. Gonna make food so I can know more watching. All right. Making fun of their faces because you're too cool for them. Oh yeah, Celie, I like it. 
Apparently I'm dropping frames, I'm sorry. Hi cats, are you coming up here, cat? Cat, come up here. Hi cat. Hello. Thanks for the visit. Sorry, the cat is visiting, I have to visit back. Hi. Hello, yeah, your head pooping. Hello. Oh, you're such a good cat. Yeah, tell me about the forest. What's happening? Did you eat a bug today? It looks like you've eaten bugs today, yeah? Here, be brushed. Alright, the cat wants to be left alone now. Scott strolls by, happily munching on something. Liam gapes of Tim Pod. <sighs> I like that they're always hanging out, though. What on earth are you eating, Scott? <laughs> This delicious new flavor of Fangles potato chips. Maximum ultimate double BBQ massacre. Why is there a bird coming out? You know. Mm. Look at white bird dick. Yeah, that is a very specific place to put a bird. A woodpecker. Holy fuck, that's a... I love werewolf himbo in a tree costume. I don't feel weird for noticing it too. Really because it looks like a raw severed goat head inside a cardboard tube. Oh yeah, I guess it does. Could have sworn it was potato chips. Still tasty though. Tasty, tasty. Does wanton environmental destruction sound tasty to you? I don't know, is it kind of jerky? No, Scott. Don't you realize that in order to harvest these goat heads, fangles and corporate decapitate millions of innocent goats every year? But what do they do with the bodies of the goats? Nothing, it's a horrendously wasteful practice. And all those poor headless goat bodies running around and bumping into things, we have to stop them. Wait, really? I was just trying to make you feel guilty. I didn't actually have a plan for action, but if someone were to suggest one... Assemble an army of vengeful and dead goat torsos. Write an extremely mean blog post. I think the blog post is more my speed. I see what you all mean by being a bit odd. Everyone's voting for goat torsos. All right, so we have two votes for goat torsos. Anyone else? The other one's writing a mean blog post. You do you, oh. Feel like it's more creative to do the blog post, but it's probably not charming. Blog post is Marliam's style, but I feel like, you know what, fine. Let's, I got more creative. I figured it was gonna knock me down, but how can a blog post cause any kind of meaningful? Quiet, Scott, I've been training my entire life for this. Liam whips out a tablet with This machine kills fascists Written on it and gets to work I'm giving it a clap I love it The blog post he writes is so incendiary The monstropolis Fire department has to send digital firefighters To put out all the flame emojis Fangles is forced to recall their Maximum ultimate double barbecue massacre flavor Just to prevent the internet from burning down Scott bids a tearful goodbye to his cardboard tube filled with goat head. But you all agree, it's for the best. You gain two smarts and plus one creativity. I have a 20 in creativity. Let's go. I hate to burst your bubble. He almost certainly has that written there as a history reference to Woody Guthrie rather than, you know. Well, now I'm sad. You ruined it. How dare you, Robo? Alright, let's go be bold again, because my boldness sucks. The day you skip class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. 
But you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Who the fuck runs security here? Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all their idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you've totally gained plus two boldness. You're walking with Liam later when suddenly a holy crossbow bolt slams into the wall next to you. It's the Slayer. Prepare to die! You flee with Liam and manage to get out of sight. Now it's the perfect time for you to hide while Liam turns into a bat. But he's not transforming. You ask him why the hell he's just standing there instead of changing. <sighs> just seems a little cliche, doesn't it? A vampire turning into a bat. Honestly, I'm over it. If I can turn into, for example, the concept of a bat, now that would be a change worth making. Still saying folk fascists. I think the battery's supposed to be in the bathroom business and she probably doesn't need to use the toilet. I went to screen cap the picture of the electric box and try you doing that, right? I think it just shows the kind of school I went to. You don't even know what that means, but if you can't get Liam to turn into something soon, he'll get you both caught. You quickly tell him to change into a hot dog stand, a general feeling on of ease. Alright, um... I kind of want to know what unease looks like. general feeling of so authentic. the perfect balance of abstraction and practicality i admit i have difficulty imagining the concept of a bat but a general feeling of unease why i experience that many times a day liam disappears in a poof of purple smoke you don't know where he's gone but you're sh but you sure don't feel good about it what's the matter do you have your shirt on inside out well, your friend's been pretending to like you. Suddenly, Slayer bursts in. She takes one step towards you, then stops. Why do I feel like... I left my stove on when I left the house this morning. Shit. The Slayer flees to check on her stove. Stove. Liam turns back into a vampire, and you immediately feel better. Oh man, my soul has never felt so tormented. Cool. I'll have to do that more often. You hope he decides to do it when you're not around, but you're glad he's happy. You gain plus two smarts and plus one creativity. Let's go. That would be the most amazing power ever. I guess for a teenager that might be standard. Okay, I kind of want to meet Tiger person. You find Scott and Damien shoveling, shoveling hot dogs and mashed potatoes into their mouths, while Coach cheers them on. Always believe in yourself. Go boys, go munch your way to victory. Oh, there's no truer spark than an eating contest. Crunch. Pro what the? <laughs> Looks like a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. Wait, there's Tiger Coach. I'm gonna put Damien's hot dog and holy ketchup. You pull your bottle of Brothers Caliente Father. What Brother Caliente? Caliente's father, son, and the Holy Ghost pepper ketchup and dump it on Damien's dogs. Finally, it's not hot enough. Oh fuck, my soil is melting. Always embrace youth. This tiger. Power through Damien, the heater feeling is just the fires of determination. 
No fire can handle this ketchup is fucking consecrated. I'm having an allergic reaction. <laughs> allergic reactions are just weakness. Leaving the body, Damien. Keep it up. I'm out. Pretty sure that's wrong and dangerous advice, Coach. I quit. Good job! Well, I guess that makes Scott the winner. Congratulations, Scott. So I poisoned my classmate. All right, then. Hooray! All right, I love winning. Gah! Great, hooray. Now, now someone take me to the nurse's office. I love helping. Scott rushes off carrying Damon's smoking body, and you rush just a little closer to Scott's heart. Let's go! Oh, Hugh Jackman. be smart or library no let's let's go make money hey stranger oh no it's not money it's whoops oh you missed me in my shirt huh worry no more it can be yours if you had the money not me though what the fuck is that tampon used by the former prom queen you know for good old blood rituals in case you're just a creep with unhealthy obsessions don't even dare me ask how you got this well, that's the only thing I can buy. I don't know what it does. Sure. Thanks. Is this really Let's dumb? Go. All right, my two items I have. I don't know what it's going to be used for. I had one! It's not like I'm gonna be able to make money, it's the last day. <laughs> this game is ridiculous! <laughs> Alright, um... Maybe Charmin? That day you are astonished by the new stuff you learn in class. You thought high school was all about doing stupid shit with your friends and trying to find true love? Who would have thought that class could actually be useful? What a nice surprise. You gain plus one valuable lesson. Good luck trying to use that in this game. And plus two smarts. You're casually reading the latest issue of Monster Magazine when you're rudely interrupted. Why am I re- why am I re- I guess these two are the main competitors? See a dire, a sensible monster with a good head on her shoulders, and at least some smarts, is reading Monster Magazine. Yeah, and that's bad because we're warriors, so we need to fight. Scott takes the magazine from you and punches it. Hurry, let's go solve another of the world's major problems. No, Scott, we're social justice warriors. You see, Adair, ever since our major success with the Fangle's goat head debacle, we've taken it upon ourselves to stand up against injustice. Oh, I see. The more I talk to them, the more they show up. Got it. By punching magazines. No, Scott. As you no doubt notice, Monsters Magazine's sexist, sexiest monster alive this year is Count Victor von Musselbod and the Vampire Prince Bodybuilder. That makes him the fifth royal werewolf bodybuilder in a row to earn the title. What about those of us with leaner physiques? What if our representation? So now we're endeavoring to get Monsters Magazine to name someone from a more marginalized community as their sexiest creature alive. We just need to figure out a way to convince them since I guess Punch in the Magazine wasn't good enough. Quite a multi class. That's, that's easy. All you need to do is solve everyone's body image issues forever is. Lean heavily into the warrior part, storm monster magazine, and hold the editor in chief captive. Alright, no, we can make our own version. What a brilliant idea. Three winged troop of cabras are definitely an 
undeserved population. Underserved population. I played sports game against someone exactly like that, and he always wanted to be a model, but never thought anyone would want to do pictures of him. Now we can. You can and you do. You do all the pictures and make a mock-up of your own monster magazine. It goes hella viral, and before long, it's becoming more celebrated than the actual monster magazine. Pretty soon after, you get a letter from the editor-in-chief officially admitting defeat in the face of your superiority and relinquishing his magazine and headquarters to you. Sweet, now you have a magazine. <coughs> Excuse me. Which instantly brings you three money. I know you're about to move on to your next misadventure, but I wanted to say really quickly. As pretty much the only girls in the school shaped differently than the rest of our classmates. It's really nice to see a three-winged chupacabra celebrated over a royal werewolf bodybuilder. It gives us hope too, you know? Oh, that's actually really sweet. The coven is much cooler when they're not babbling on and on about the end of the world bullshit and expecting your help with it. It's way more fun to interact with your classmates when they're complimenting you instead. Congratulations, you destroyed beauty standards. Devil wears a dare. Hot noon. Let's go. All right, I guess I have to sit with. All right, we really got to an... nail this home. You take your seats beside arguably the two coolest monsters in all the spooky high. Here's hoping you can keep up with them. Vera, <laughs> how are you eating magic or steaks again? Yes, and it's delicious. Don't you know the amount of cruelty involved in the mainstream meat production industry? Yes, and it's delicious. Besides, Liam, you're a vampire. Don't you only consume things that are dead? Yes, I suppose, but it's always eth ethically sourced, organic, free range, and human. The human population is out of control, and eating them is the most environmentally responsible thing to do. Exactly that. I refined beauty standards. Listen, Liam, I happen to have a personal feud with every single animal I eat. I make sure to meet all of them first and ensure I'm devouring only the ones I hate the most. It makes it extra tasty. Well, then, surely you can inflict such pain without going through the cruel meat industry and supporting factory farming. Isn't home cruelty better anyway? You may actually have a point there, and if I get my hand in the pot, I can inflict even more effective and specific pain. And I bet there's a way to make money off this too. You know, and somehow I've ended up arguing against my own interests here. Liam, do you want to find more innovative and creative ways to move society forward? Or do you want to oppose cruelty like every other weak mainstream loser? You can actually hear Liam's brain shaking as he struggles between his desire to be perceived as ethical and his desire to be perceived as creative. Maybe you can step in and help out. Oh boy! The animals you kill may lose their lives, but what about their afterlives? Instead of letting their spirits go to waste as the byproduct of the meat industry, let's serve their eternal souls as a side dish. Liam! Animals are already suffering. From ignorance, Evira wanted to increase their pain. The best we can do is teach them the concept of death so they can really fear their fates. Let's educate cattle on metaphysics. Oh, so I'm gonna go with the second one. Side dish of souls. Well, I can't condone animal cruelty, but I can wholeheartedly support animal education. I do like animals, but their illiteracy is my fourth least favorite thing about them. Right between their poor taste in fashion and simplistic views on German cinema. It's not the worst idea you've ever had. Although, face it, Adair, you're known for having pretty terrible ideas about 50% of the time. I don't really see building an empire at a private school for cattle, but with my business acumen, I guess it's possible. And I can rest assured, rest secure in the knowledge that I'm solving the bovine 
education crisis. Helping Liam helps help cows is like helping you help Liam choose you to go to prom with. Or something. I guess I'm taking Liam to prom Let's now. Let's go! Cows need more education. I've met several. Let's, let's go party. I've started like three raves. One point, one the small magical Latino cat slips on a banana peel, you start to laugh at him. He asks you to stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him that you somehow steal plus two fun from him. Hooray. Afterwards, Liam walks up to you extremely nonchalantly. It's ridiculous how little he cares about this walk. After considerable thought, I've come up with the conclusion that you're not a complete poser. And seeing as I could use a partner for my tragically hip late night excursions, consider yourself invited. Tonight, 3am, I'm sure you'll have no trouble coming up with an appropriately underground destination. I mean, it's not like I don't know any cool places to go or anything. I just want to give you an opportunity to prove yourself. Shut up, I might have a thing for vampires. You're so rude. And Colonel Sanders. Liam vanishes in a cloud of mist and angst. You've got 12 hours to choose the trendiest spot nobody's ever heard of. Metropolis is most exclusive nightclub, asterisk. The hottest most underground nightclub of all, the Earth's car. Raccoons bite too. Say the Earth's car? Maybe? I'm scared of doing the Earth's car. Oh, that night you pick up Liam in your giant mechanized drill machine and head for the club. But there's no club at the center of the Earth, it's just the center of the Earth, a molten ball of iron and death. Oh, my skin, why do you think there's a club here? Why would anyone think there's a club here? Literally the most inhospitable place on Earth. I have no idea what you thought. That's what you. Oh no. Well, I fucked up. None of them. I'm going with Liam, I guess. Welcome to Liam de Liam Core. All right. Yes, I'll ask. Will he say Let's yes? go. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Uh. <gasps> I'm not attracted to you in that way. Actually, I think the only way I'm attracted to you is if through the tiny gravitational force that your body has as a solid mass. <laughs> That's something, right? Prom? <laughs> oh my god, I thought Liam liked me! I'm sad. <laughs> we'll get Liam one day. Why didn't I get Liam? No, disintegrate him. Those six weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendships, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Liam and Scott co-wrote a weird cheesy fanfic of two lights that became unexpectedly popular to the point it turned into a well-known novel of its own. Fifty shit no. <laughs> Half the characters were shirtless, for all the right reasons. Vera realized she was a character in a video game, which infuriated her. She spent her life making connections and building power because she's not part of a game, she plays the game. So be careful, maybe she's the one pulling your strings. Miranda used her vast knowledge of surfs to get a job handpicking the best surfs for other people. Unsurprisingly, she ended up leaving her surfs to do the work. 
Over those six weeks, the Monster Prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called Youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. High school, man. Well, thanks for... making it so I couldn't go to prom with anyone. I was so bad at prom! You've just unlocked an erotic fanfiction about dragons. This is about to get weird. You've unlocked eight new images in the gallery. All right, I kind of want to see what the fuck the fan, what the... Thirty under three thousand. Meet the class of two thousand eighteen. I hate it. <laughs> All right. I studied in Ireland for a time and your accent bring your accent brings back happy memories. I'm glad I can bring happy memories to you. Like I tried to do a speed run. Oh! Thank you very much for the nani. That was so scary. Alright, we'll do... That was like an hour and a... No, it was an hour. I could try to do 30 minutes. But I also want to play hard... We'll, we'll do... We'll do a short game. Alright, skipping. Let's be a flame person this time. Let's start a fire! My favorite kind of hit. Oh my gosh. Right, I have to answer questions again. Which inanimate object do you think would make the best girlfriend or boyfriend provided you went criminally insane? Last one I'm going to read to you and I'm going to pick it. Right. A human-sized pillow depicting a character created by myself. As a matter of fact, I have all the needed paperwork and I'm only waiting for the concerted, narrow-minded laws of our country to finally step forward into waifu and husbandu territory as was clearly intended by God. That one clearly. Democracy is just broken. Oh, here's the one we've done before. Alright. I'm going to say the heartbreaking violin solos. Alright, that's right. So everybody, if you look at the Colonel Sanders overlay body pillow art, we're, we're trying to have a goal so that I can commission someone I already know who to do a Colonel Sanders overlay body pillow art so if you like to donate feel free what would be a killer accessory to say fancy breast knuckles. I I definitely think this is an appropriate game to play. Let's do this. All right. Time to see stats. S oh my god. Smart 7 creativity term fun money's 5.
I guess let's try to be smarter this time. I don't know. Oh, I never... I didn't go to the gym often. He has lost me to deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits. Leading to a... Leading to a spectacular comeback. Could I be a natural born leader? Okay, charm. You're not unique, I'm fucking unique. Hmm. I'm unique like a snowflake made of flash. Well, I'm not going to date you, Liam, because you're an asshole. <laughs> I'm unique like a snowflake made of flash frozen, fuck you. <sighs> so I'm so unique, I eat garlic with every meal. <laughs> I am so unique. I'm so unique. I've got a tattoo of baby Jesus on me. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Huh. I let my victims suck my blood. Well, that's. I'm reading a book right now that happens, so. Week. I'm so unique. I go to church every Sunday. Huh. Yeah, I'd do that too if I wasn't allergic. Would not. Would too. What a noob. Bite me, Helitard. <sighs> Lame. <laughs> oh my god. This could go on forever, and if it does, you'll never get to smooch either of them. It's up to you to put an end to this debate once and for all. You suggest they decide the issue by... Tomb robbery. Fucking metal! Fuck yeah, tomb robbery it is. Fine. Those tombs seem like they should be making out. Considering apparently they both could... Oh, God. Both of them come back horribly cursed. Thanks to you, every song I listen to now sounds like Rick, Rick Ashley's never gonna give you up. Gah! And that fucking mommy turned my sick hog into a goddamn tricycle. Uh, you know, Damien, we may not agree on much, but I think we can agree on one thing. <laughs> so Lucius has got to pay. Damien spends the next two hours beating the literal shit out of you while Liam takes artistic photographs for his mon momentogram. You lose... Minus two fun and plus one boldness. Let's do this! Alright, we're not dating Damien. Fuck that guy. You arrive at Polly and Varys' table to find a meeting. Wait, both of them. I sure do love food and eating. Look at this food. Go into me. Hmm. Yes, this cafeteria sloppy Joe truly really has a subtle flavor profile. Finally, I notice the cause of this absurdity. A well-dressed businessman sitting at the table watching both of the women intently. Yeah, you know you like this baby. My eating is realistic and erotic. Be cool, Polly. The man wants to pay us for eating in front of him, not screwing about eating. This is not what eating is, I forget. Olivera tries to explain. Eating the party, the businessman shyly approaches you and gives a small bow. Much obliged, friend, he says in a soft voice. Are these two fine ladies your friends? I must confess, I've searched far and wide for a pseudo suitable candidate to fulfill my rather unusual fetish. Paying a student at a high school for monsters to eat food while I watch politely from a distance. What what the fuck? Sorry, I put a hand on my face again. Because I find myself unable to choose which of these two beauties to hire. The snake-headed one possesses a certain grace. Yeah, pay me, motherfucker. Pay me to do a thing I was going to do anyway. But the translucent one has such passion. I don't even want the money. This is just fucking weird and I love it. I vote for Polly. In your opinion, the businessman finishes... Which would be the wiser choice on my part? The Gorgon, obviously. Look how many mouths she's got on her head. The ghost, for sure. I've never seen someone eat so convincingly. Fuck you, pay me. We stand, Vera. Alright, vote right now. Vera or Polly? They're both... They're both great. We have Vera who's like, you know what, motherfucker, you have to pay me. And then we have Polly who's like, I don't need money.
Right, Polly. The business man nods thoughtfully. You know, you're right. Never before I believed so fully that someone was actually eating real food. Yep, that's me eating real food with my real mouth and teeth. Are you kidding me? That's convincing to you. The food is falling right through her body onto the floor. Don't hate me because I'm efficient at eating. Don't worry, I hate you for other more private reasons. What, sorry, I can't hear you. Too busy eating real food. You team up with Polly to make her eating even more realistic. She passes her food through her body to you and you eat it for her. It's pretty hot. <laughs> I, I hate it. Alright! Let's do this! Yeah, this is a different kind of stream now. Let's do more sports. Explain her in many ways you think she's unique and wonderful in life while also defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding reasons to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain plus one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game, so that beautiful friendship will take place off screen and plus two charm. Afterwards, you see Polly and Damien eating some delicious looking cookies. Hiya! Would you like to buy a cookie to benefit the Agents of Chaos? I'm trying to get my Destructive Capitalism badge. Polly, you're doing so well. <laughs> All proceeds go directly to the Uprising of Chaos Over Order, and it's tax deductible. As I was setting fire to a nursing home the other day, I heard a voice echo so loud to me in my head that my teeth rattled. It told me an ancient order as it... As it was described to me in a thousand voices, blood trickled from my ears. Fucking metal! And then the voices gave me a badge for harassment of the elderly. Classic! And I earned my first badge for being unable and unwilling to stop partying. My goal is to get enough badges to make a bikini out of... The bikini out of... And then wear it and nothing else everywhere forever. My goal is to get enough badges that Polly makes a bikini out of them and wears it and nothing else everywhere forever. It's Polly time! I wonder what badge we should go for next and what hijinks we can get into to earn it. It's Polly time. I love it. Can we be Polly with Polly? But also Polly, what the fuck capitalism? Destroy the institution of marriage. Chaos is always better with someone... With some sensible agony, replace all the water in the school with swarms of mosquitoes. Do you like the idea of partying? Hi cats, you're, you're visiting again. Party hard, hi! Hi Cornelis, how's it going? Hey! Are you kidding me? Destroy the institution of marriage? With no marriage, there would be no weddings. Do you understand that weddings represent me? Hmm. Commitments, fidelity, sentimenta sentimentality, because none of that shit sounds like what you... Open bars. There it is. <laughs> Why would I actively fight to give myself less opportunities to get free alcohol? But she gave me a heart. Damn, why didn't you immediately associate the joining of two people in love with booze, you fool? Alright, well I lost stats and I'm not fun. Let's do this! Alright, Rough, I'm we're going to have to party now. Start to have our rave. Someone summons demons from nightmare dimension. All right. You're ready. You're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey, baby, let's party. How can you refuse such a formal missive? You track her down immediately. Hi. Yeah, you got my text. That's good, because I need some help brainstorming. 
I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be lame, and that needs to change. See, it's a costume party, you know, where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans. I'm going as a sexy ta tax attorney. I did like the fire spin in this one. But I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can rescue this party from the depths of lamitude. So I've got any ideas to help spice things up? Oh, you've got some ideas and they're the spiciest. Spike the punch with mandrake root. It turns monsters into actual humans. Okay, you go as a sexy attorney. I'll go as a sexy tax evader. I like the second one. Later that night. Hug tax evaders. Holly cracks her standard issue tax attorney whip. Knocking over a stack of solo cups and upturning the punch bowl. You stand accused of violating Article 69 of the Tax Penal Code. The fine is 1,000 human dollars. Payable in spankings. You're more than ever... You're more than happy to do the time for your delinquency. The rest of the party goers get to the spirit and soon they're all confessing to unpaid taxes. Paying for your crimes never felt so good. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. All right, well that turned into something. Let's do this. You take your seat, Han. But if you know any better, you'd say that it seems like Vera and Polly are almost more interested in their phones than they are in you. And you do know better, and you know that, yes, that is exactly what's happening right now. Hey there. It's nothing personal, Red, it's just that Polly and I are very engrossed in texting our financial slave. Yeah! Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty hard to compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you anything you want. That's my fetish too. Not buying things for people, having people buy things for me, duh. Good thing he's rich enough to take care of both of us. You know what they say, true friendship is sharing secrets and financial slaves. Oh my god. I'll send him over to the stream, I'm trying to pay someone for artwork. Still, I do worry that this arrangement might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops, besides being handed everything you want on a platter. In this case, a platter involving online money transferring platform. I'll share a sleigh with you, baby. Aw, I oh, thank you very much. Can we share him, Adair? Well, I guess all of us could share him. We gotta find one, I don't know where that happens. Is that where I become a fin dom, but like a a VTuber fin dom? All right. It's almost boring. Yeah, I get that. It's a little less boring when you're as much acid as I am right now, but I see what you mean. Polly, what the absolute fuck? If we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then maybe it would get interesting and we can continue to profit even after he's gone broke from catering to our every whim. I mean, how interesting do you think business actually is since he's so obsessed with us? We should just tell him to do something totally insane and see if he does it. I don't know, weirdo giving away his money and getting into hijinks is great and all, but I want to start making real money. I think money is fine and all, but my favorite currency is chaos. Seems like the ladies are at a very exciting crossroads. Maybe a random bystander can give them a nudge in the right direction. You can easily grow this arrangement into a business. Just escalate and delegate. Have the financial slave go and acquire his own financial slave to give him money and have that financial slave go and find a financial slave. I'm going to say, tell him to marry a llama. Oh my god, yes, that is everything to me. I actually had a dream. 
just like that one time. Except it wasn't a llama, it was an alpaca. It wasn't a wedding, it was a bar mitzvah. But other than that, it was exactly the same. I feel like those are totally different scenarios. Yeah, I don't think it's my scene. I'm going to go check on my illegal law firm. Catch your weirdos later. I'm texting the financial slave right now, telling him to marry a llama. Oh, he's already typing. Let's see. Fred, you'll never believe this. It turns out the financial slave has actually been talking to a llama for a few months through a llama monster dating site. He says he's a commitment phobe and never really defined the term of his relationship with the llama. And he keeps introducing the llama as a friend, but he knows now it's because he was just scared of being hurt. He's taking this as a sure sign that it's time to be brave and commit to the llama, and they're headed to City Hall for the ceremony right now. Of course, he says he'll have to take his leave of our group chat since his heart and wallet now belong to another. Specifically a llama. Aw, isn't that the sweetest love story you've ever heard? I'm so glad we got to make it happen together. That is the sweetest love story you've ever heard, or something. But hey, maybe you and Polly will end up having a love story of your own. Let's do this! Well, I have five money. Let's go buy something. Hey, stranger. Too poor for... All right, back if why can I buy cocaine here? <laughs> A penguin mask, you want this, you sick pervert. A sexy fake Latin accent. My other half says get the coke. I don't have ten dollars. I only have five. <laughs> I kind of want to try the gift, but or the fake accent. A Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. Alright, let's do the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, it's zero dollars. Alright, well. Yikes, I don't know what to do. A fake Latin Later, action. Later, gator. Alright, well, I have a lot more charm now. Let's do this! We haven't been to the bathroom yet. Days class. I guess some people want to watch the world burn. Look, I wrote a little thing right there. She spots Polly still wearing the lab coat she stole from that human party the other night. She takes it off and throws it at you to get your attention. Hi. Yo, 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 that human party convinced me I want to be a scientist, but not just any kind, a party scientist. I might be smoking in the bathroom. It's not a human pastime. Are you having to stretch for a second? a party scientist you ask why it's just a scientist who's dedicated to discovering the secret of the Radis party through a series of extremely scientific experiments I aim to discover what exactly makes a party good so I can distill whatever it is into a vial and drink it or you know just have really dope parties all the time anyway I'm going to a bar mitzvah tonight and I need your scientific advice what can we do to push this party over the edge I'm back, how are you liking the game? This game is batshit crazy. A lot of things keep happening in this game. Liam wouldn't date me though. 
I thought for sure I had Liam's heart. Broke it just like an Irishman. Fine, whatever, Liam. I don't love you anymore. Liam can go get fucked. By literally anyone else. Maybe the wear koala. Well, I guess you could still party there. Just not, you know, you'd be partying with the adults. The electric slide with actual electricity chemistry. Yeah, cause they feel last thing, that's why you didn't date you. What to do with actual electricity? Oh no, not so fun. Later the night. Electrocute. Why isn't anyone dancing? They're all just standing there with bug eyes and gritted teeth, lame. Oh I know, maybe the problem is we didn't use enough electricity. Let's amp this party up. Nope, that burned everyone to a crisp, huh? Well, this party's dead, I'm out of here. Holly literally ghosts on you. You leave to pay the necromancer fees to recorrect, re uh, resurrect all these poor party goers. I have negative two money. Let's do this! Polly, I just want to date you. Break masters! Break masters, how present and accounted for. Chairman, Geist, all dressed up and ready to prank. Yeah, how come you got to be chairman? Well, which one of us can throw chairs around the room with our ghost powers? Well, I don't have ghost powers. Oh, so you, I get a chairman, ha, huh, but. No time to argue, Scott. We got to come up with a baller food prank before the end of lunch. Oh yeah, okay, what if we ate all our food like a good boy? Is that a prank? No, Scott, for the last time, that's not a prank and I don't eat. I'm having trouble coming up with another idea. Anybody else? You've been waiting all your life for an opportunity like this. You propose the ultimate food prank. Replace all the food with chairs. Yes! You know what they say, when life gives you chairs, do pranks with the chairs. But I've never heard Coach say that. Doesn't it sound like the kind of thing he would say though? That kind of does, how am I supposed to help though? You're the chairman. Easy Scott, just be a chair. Oh, of course. Scott twists himself into an uncomfortable looking shape. He seems happy though. Like this. Exactly like that, no. Up you go. Does this make me a chairman? Oh, poor Scott. Sure, totally. Polly doesn't seem to mind sharing her title with Scott or her affection with you. Prank achieved. Right, we're almost at the... Oh. Let's do this! Well, I've got a lot of charm. And I've got negative money. I don't know if I have to do something about that. Two more charm. But the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. He's totally mesmerized. It's the most epic wink ever. Damn, you know how to win over people's hearts? You gain plus two charm. But none of that matters because tonight you're going on a date with Polly to the casino. Oh yeah, I love casinos. They combined my three great loves. Bad life choices, risk addiction, and getting fucked up. Alright. When I say three greatest loves, I meant three. The number between three and five. Sorry, I'm already pretty blasted because I'm so excited about this casino. Come on, let's make some disastrous financial decisions. Show me how financially, how physically irresponsible you can be, baby. You've heard the ghost. What you gonna do? Find the nearest horse race and literally bet your life on it. This is a hard choice. Yeah, of course, it's not how it usually works, but monsters don't normally go to high school either, so shut up. How much money are you going to bet? Wait, did you write my actual life on a piece of paper, sign it in blood, and hand it to the bookie? I don't know what's going on, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be sweet. You bet your life on a horse called Three Bad Legs on the hunch it must have one really good leg. 
But no, it turns out it's only got the three legs. All your horses losing, that's such a sweet, elaborate way of committing suicide so we can be ghosts together. What? No, you were just making an idiotic gesture. You don't want to die. You don't want to die. Oh, your horse lost two more of its legs. Get ready to die, I guess. You turn and run. The book he gives chase, waving two wicked axes in your wake. Are you racist against death? Death racist, boo. Not the scary boo, the bad boo. The worst boo of all is you. Lose two fun and one boldness in part of your right butt cheek. All right, so I'm totally not dating Polly now, I think. Well, I might as well try. She's probably going to say no. It's party time! Let's do this! Why can't we go to prom? Poor life choices is how I died. So now I can tell a poor afterlife choice when I see one. <laughs> and boo, you're a big one. We tried and failed. <laughs> and Pasta Man was playing a fun new game. You enjoy it's called Rain on Your Parade. I didn't realize monster prom was gonna be so hard. It's as weird and as sad as it sounds. He yelled. graduated from doing lots of ayahuasca and now she appears t to hallucinating people and acts as their spirit animal. What the absolute fuck? Scott turned out to be a genius and became the most renowned mathematician of the country. JK, he became an athlete, duh. He's still a bit of a simpleton but as lovable and good-hearted as ever. Damien found peace in the most unexpected way. He kept punching everything till one day he punched his own anger to death. He's written a book about it. Ripperoni. Each character has a stat or two that needs to be high to get a date with him. Polly wants smarts and fun and you had no smarts. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this hard. I'm never going to get a date ever. Dating's too hard. Gone. All right. Well, my throat is a little sore from reading so much, so I think I'm going to switch to Harvest Moon Magical Melodies. So, fun stuff. It turns out emulators are a thing, and I own Harvest Moon. I own the disc. 
Yeah, these games are tiring to read. So I figured let's try to figure out how to play a GameCube game on a computer using a keyboard. Right, it's a good time. So is that Monster Prom or was it like DLC? I only had Monster Prom to my knowledge. I don't think I got everything. Thank you very much for joining the forest, ABC Worm. Well, it's four bucks on Steam. Yeah, because it's like, what, still 69% off? <laughs> right, so let's, let's go to Magical Melodies. I couldn't. Harvest Moon time. But it's funny because we're not doing the new Harvest Moon. We're going to do the old one. It's 69% lol. All right, Monster Prom. We're going to do Harvest Moon. Magical melody. Because that's totally fine. I'm gonna be the only person playing it. I'm gonna be like, what in the absolute fuck? Now, remember everyone. Oh no, my. The game capture of Harvest Moon slightly off. I just put it in one corner. I don't know what's. So it's in four by three because that's what, how that used to work. Yo, our monster girl is sexy. Well, I saw the ones there. Right, when is your birthday? Pick your favorite season. Well, I'm going to say... We'll say spring. This is already weird. I, I wish I had, like, an old GameCube controller. Winter, embrace the darkness with darkness of your heart. I am not part of darkness. This game is very adorable. Look how adorable she is. It's going to take 15 years to get me though. stream goal I want everyone to hit it oh no and it, but it covers up text where do I put it bottom's probably fine put it right there it's happened to meet me Oh no, I have to navigate a keyboard. Oh no! How do I backspace? <laughs> How do I back... Oh, there we go. Alright. No! I 
think I'll just pick the vanilla area. It's nice to not be handed a piece of land being like, well, your grandfather died on it, so... What's the name of my ranch? I don't know what the name of my ranch. Let's call it. We'll call it Melody for now. really weird to read that. That spacing is strange. It's already late, so I'll show you to your home. I can't wait for the controls, can you? This is a used home. This home was gently used. Oh no, I, I don't want to stop. I forget how to get to the menu. He could have said move and ready, no, but it's a gently used home. No, I'm not changing. I'm scared to really mess with anything. Going to go to sleep. We're gonna get cutscenes. I remember this part. Fairy reveal! <laughs> I mean, she's got wings on her head, but... This got really sad. The heart of love. And my existence. And I guess she's going to up and die now. Rival with the cowboy hat. That wing eyeliner. I can't nail that. Who's at my door? Hmm? 
They have a favor. Right? Write me in favors. I'm I'm basically gonna have to write them up a good deal. Let's see what they're asking for. Oh no, the goddess was like, I'm just gonna turn into stone right here. Something has happened to her. She's been stoned for a year and you guys couldn't figure out how to fix it? You guys are asking for a lot here. A lot of notes are needed to return the harvest goddess to our farm herself, yeah. I want you to collect a lot of notes. Alright, so why don't I farm an orchestra? guy just he hits everything huh. stop hugging me i don't want to hang out with you guys well you're rude but the harvest caught us supposed to get along with people yeah right well you're just a stick in a mud you're no fun huh i'm gonna fight you Do your best, yeah? Why do they keep screaming you at the end of the sentences? Yeah! Like, that's what I imagine it. I got a pedometer. It's okay. If you carry the pedometer, it'll count your steps. No, shit. All right. They keep screaming, yeah, afterwards. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck. But I got a magical note! Oh, it's your title. Finish up the tutorials. So if after you collected for five notes, I'd like to come back to this harvest goddess spring, yeah? Sorry, it was a yeah. I'm on the app, so it looks weird. Yeah, the app is a little weird. I love these character models. I know this is sudden, but I have a favor to ask. Question mark. This dog was born on our farm, would you mind keeping it? The dog would be much happier with you than alone on our farm. Sure. Back. I don't know what to name the puppy. What do I name the dog?
Let's name him Bark. Pick up the puppy! I forgot about that. Well, I I just wanted to give you a pet. Oh, that's adorable. All right, is this is where I save. Oh, it is where I save. Are right, you how you get out of here? Box. A bonfire set. I don't know how to cycle through my items. Right. I don't know how to cycle through. I'd like to use my axe, please. Put that down. Oh. How do I use the item? I have to put it on my land. Okay, so let's try that. There we go, all right. I don't know how to use my items. All right, well, we'll figure it out. seeing the game go this fast with my eyes because I remember it's on the GameCube. Hi, Sparrow. <gasps> I can pick you up too. How's it going? Here, I'll push you down like, I don't know. You're welcome. Hey, someone... Strange lives here. This is so cute. Look at how adorable this is. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix all of these. The fencing area, because they just let it go to rot. I like how the ocean sounds are just distortion. What quality audio. More ocean. Well, hello, Sourpuss. Huh. This guy needs to go to therapy. 
I'm not going to save her, so... Alright, well, you know, good luck with that. Did I not put it in my pocket? Apparently not. Alright, I guess I'm going to run this back to my home. Don't mind me. It's really... This is perfectly normal. Running things back to my home, just carrying it the whole time. I don't remember where I live. Who's this way? Alright, that's not my home. Is there a way to bring up the map? Alright, one of these days I'm gonna find my way back home. Probably this way. So I passed the carpentry area. around the forest carrying Carl because they don't know where they're going. Is it city center? So they cross the Found his heart. shipping note. Can I like... That's gonna be a lot of interesting keystrokes here to try to... Alright, so I gotta press... To hold it and I guess use it as an item. this item, please. Apparently that doesn't work. We'll probably do a tiny bit of farming here, right? your model and I hope you have a great day. I thank you very much, Mango Farmer. This is really priming me to play the new part. What is it? The Pioneers? I totally just bought it on my Switch, but I hadn't played it yet. Can I put it away? Yep. All right. Hi, squirrel. Want to see the person that looks like they're a dog? Or a bear? Why am I getting a cutscene? I decided to invade Jamie's privacy. Huh. Have a good day, Mango Farmer. But I'm not gonna lose to ya. I'm just trying to be your friend, Jamie.
No, it's not a large baby. That's my character model. Why can't I pet you? Oh, they won't let me pet him. What's that noise? Go the oh, there's a cat here. I love you too, cat. But their eyes make them look baby, yeah. Look at that eye chart where it's just a bunch of circles. But hello, you're the new farmer. Definitely stay on top of my health. You meet the doctor and he's like, let me take a good look at you. Alright, so I have to go on the mountain and find herbs. Just walk into the I thought there was another character here. Hey rabbit. <laughs> it's dark now. Mare's house. Can't go that way. Trying to have a good look around. I can't go anywhere right now. All right. That arrow is kind of spooky. Yes, I get it, Owl. It's time to go. What's this? Don't know what that box is. Haven't used all of my energy. Small spook, right? It's just like hoot, 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 hoot. Like, why is the cat a hood so much? Uh-oh, why... Why are you knocking on my door? Who are you? Your name is Bob, alright. My work is carrying produce for shipping. I'll quickly explain it to you. A shipping box. All right, yes. I get paid every day in the morning. I do like that Stardew Valley had it so if you did accidentally put the wrong thing and you can get it out. But you can't put stakes in, so be careful. But don't give up and keep at it. Alright. I 
Hi, Sir James. How's it going? We're just having a little bit of fun with magical melodies. Like a really old GameCube game. Existent while well, I'm glad you're at least existent. Alright, I probably need to buy some... Hi, Sparrow. Is this where I can buy... No. Alright, I need to buy seeds. Ara, ara. Ara, ara. Sorry, my throat's a little bit sore today. I also did a lot of talking during Monster Prom. You might have missed it. You can watch my VOD later. I failed at getting dates. Long and short of it. Alright, where can I buy seeds? Can I buy seeds here? Now well, that's a workshop. Spring farm, alright. What do you mean it's locked? Is it because it's still early? Right, well, it's. yeah, it's early. He didn't deserve you. I need a bigger backpack. I need to have a morning run across the beach. I can't fit it in my pocket. Oh no, don't frown. Guess I was later in. Well, I have to run home anyway. All right. I will memorize this map eventually. So I need to run down here. I'm doing all right. Did a lot of narration today. I was doing some work yesterday as well, so I was kind of tired. So I started about 10 minutes late. But I've been doing all right. I was thinking about trying to start an account on Fiverr. I heard people talking about it. I was watching Captain Krabs's stream. He was talking about finding people on Fiverr for voice acting. I was like, well, that could be something I try to do on air. The Gold Fire Colonel Sanders body pillow. Well, almost is body pillow art. So it's going to be a picture of a body pillow for my overlay that I can just kind of stick wherever. But once we can find actual body pillow art for Colonel Sanders, I do plan on trying to find it because, you know, memes are hilarious. to do it for the meme but yeah all the money down there for the gold is going to go straight to the artist any extra is also going to be given as a tip as well hardly a farm we just grow a few meager crops here
Right, I have to buy items. I want to do moon drop flowers. I can't carry no more. Oh. Sorry, right, keep trying to back out. Alright, will I have enough seeds for now? Music is bopping. I like it a lot. Alright, I'm getting the hang of where I live. Right, we're going to do a tiny bit of farming. Apparently that part of the soil is not fertile. It's not what I want. Really weird playing this on a game or on a keyboard. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, it does six areas. What's mine? I'm fucking up here. I had no idea. Much cute. They did betray me a little bit. That's fine. I haven't played this in a long time. I'd have to water him. Alright, let's go inside my house to find my watering can. <laughs> Blame me, fish. Oh no, I need a pedometer. How do I get more items in a rucksack? So that's me go to a response. Not a bad one. That might have been involved somehow. Wait, I don't think I need. Where did, did I not bring my watering can? But. Nani? The English could be demanded on my potatoes. Great. Right, I figured it out. I only do one at a time. Tell me I don't have to go back every single time. That was very weird. Oh, how long can I hold this? Right. Well, that one isn't as fertile, so... That's why it's not going. We'll all remember to refill this for later. Right, I need to go onto the mountain. <gasps> Bunny rabbit, hello! to the mountain so this will be fun right it's mostly rock here any herbs come on the doctor's like we need herbs no I'm not going to hunt him I don't think you can in this game 
But if you pick them up, they get to, like, hearts and stuff. Right, well, apparently there aren't any herbs here. Oh, did you see me trip? That's kind of funny. Oh, the frame rate in my eyes. The doctor's like, yeah, go to the mountain and get herbs. There aren't any herbs here, doctor. Have I found that? Suppose I can eat it. <gasps> oh, look at all that stuff I could bring. Fine, all right, here we go. We're going to run home with this now. I can start to herbs are useful or fun. Well, the doctor wants some for medicine. I run so slow. Fine, I'll eat it. Eating items gives back energy. So I think what I need to do here is I need to get a controller that works with this simulation because it's a little more difficult than I hoped it would be to try to play the original, well not the original, to play magical melodies on a computer. This is kind of rough. Not as agile I was hoping as it, it would be. Well, let's go ahead and save, and we'll go to some chatting. Right, I did... I, I'm all about making money so I can buy other things here. Right, we'll end that. Give me one moment, switch over. <gasps> Hello! I meant to be hiding. Apparently I can't hide here. What happened? Did I mess up here? I sure did. <laughs> Sometimes I break my own phone. Have you ever just broken your own phone? Hey, maybe I've thrown it across the room before. Out of excitement! Some VTubers marry chat, but chat is new. Well, I hadn't thought of that one. <gasps> I know what we need to watch. The doing of life oh this can't be real give me a moment everybody give me one moment I want to try to do this in a way that I might we might have to watch this later. Because <laughs> I don't know a way to like have this window happen without accidentally doxing myself. We'll figure it out, but I we're going to watch the trailer next time of the lifetime movie that is apparently involving KFC and the artist seduction. like a live action thing no it's not a KFC channel I just apparently simply hard for anime Colonel Sanders wouldn't you though Taco Bell is an option but <laughs> I, I, 
I do sim pretty hard for anime to kernel. Simp outside the bun, that's perfect. That, that's going to be my next stream title, Simp outside of the bun. You just start reading Colonel, Colonel Sanders fan fiction. Oh, but I can't actually do that on stream, can I? Deep fried simp it. Oh. Perfect. Deep fried simpin. I mean, if you do it, I'll write some up for you. Just say the word. You're already working on like several projects. We were like talking webtoons and you were like, I'm right on it. I'm going to be doing webtoons. Is this where I have everyone kind of out, coming out of lurking to like start screaming about finger lick, finger lick and simp. Oh my God, I'm going to die. Colonel Sanders approaches you slowly, quietly. He reaches into his apron pocket to produce a chicken tender that'll blow your mind. Ah. Like, screw doing fan art of me. Do fan art for Colonel Sanders. Listen, it's much easier to do a one-off fanfic, I can write it up. Hi Sarah Speech, how's it going? A dare in the a dare across the kernel. Perfect, I'll read it. <laughs> that can be a new hashtag. Alright, so if you're on Twitter, do like hashtag Adair times the kernel. And just start tweeting me your fan fiction. The kernel is sexier than a monster girl anyway. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Colonel Sanders. Ridiculous, I can't believe. You know what, it's fine. We'll call it Kentucky Fay Chick. Stop it. No, this is too perfect. This is super too perfect. I hate it. No, I hate love it. I hate love it so much. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, I think we're going to be raiding. Let's raid Kubota Nari today. She's an artist. An artist dragon. It looks like they're doing art today. So, oh. please say Fae Invasion for Kubota, Kubota Nari. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll... If I do a secret stream, it might be Thursday night. It's going to be a Fae Invasion. So I'll see y'all soon. Oh wait, I have to read this first before we leave. The colonel looked down at Adair, brushing his knuckles gently down the side of her face. He pushed back the hair falling into her face and whispered, The dish between us is heating up rapidly. Better hope we don't boil over before we're ready. You can't just tell us when you do a secret stream. Well, you don't know what time it's going to be now, do you? And I might not do one at all. That's why you have to follow my Twitter. Or, you know, I guess, like, check on Twitch every once in a while. Or look at Reddit, I like to advertise. I, I had a Reddit post where I was like... Irish fave VTuber. Romance novels. The other fast food kernels are rivals. Right, everybody. Please stick around for the read. Scream Fae Invasion and I'll see you next time. On... Adair tries to date Colonel Sanders secretly even though the game is over. Always in my heart. <laughs>